This is a language arts and uh, uh, life skill uh, that we're going to be talking about for B is for breathe. And this one is the T. Talk about feelings. Share feelings and talk with a trusted person to help yourself feel better. It's so good to talk about your feelings. The first thing that we have to do when we talk about feelings is name our feelings. We have a book. We have this one and I read this one. You can go find this video. This one helps you choose what to do when you have a big feeling. But we have another feeling book um, called The Color Monster. And if you want to go read that book, that can help you name some of your feelings. Some feelings that we have are happy, excited, frustrated, scared, nervous, sleepy, tired, angry, sad. Can you think of any other feelings? There are so many feelings and sometimes you can feel more than one. You can feel happy and sad at the same time. That can be so confusing when you feel both feelings at the same time. One of the ways to help with that is to talk about it. Say, I feel happy and I feel sad. Can you try that? Can you say, I feel happy and I feel sad. Good job. Talking about our feelings can feel a little bit scary. We may not want people to know how we feel. We may not even know how we feel. But you can go and you can talk to someone that you trust and say, I have big feelings right now. And that can let the person know, hmm, let's try and find the names for those feelings. So can you say that with me? I have big feelings right now. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? I have big feelings right now. When you say that, we know, oh, let's stop what we're doing and take care of these feelings so that you can choose what you're going to do next. Sometimes when we don't talk about the feelings, we make bad choices about what to do next because the feelings make us feel so confused. So we can say, I feel, I feel. Can you say that? I feel. And then you can say happy or sad or scared or nervous or hungry or thirsty. I feel. That's a great way to tell someone how you're feeling. Another way that you can start it is you can say, I need. Can you say that with me? I need. Do you see, I have my finger like a hook and I need to grab onto something oh, so that I can hold on tightly. I need. Can you do that with me? I need. Sometimes we need help right away and the way that you can get that help is by saying it talking about your feelings rather than grabbing or hitting or screaming we just use the words i feel i need and then the last one is may i have can you say that with me may i have that way, you're asking very kindly, and you can remember that you can trust people to help you when you ask so kindly. May I have, please? Please is always a nice word, isn't it? But sometimes your feelings are so big, the please falls away. But don't forget to just say, I feel, I need, and the person that you trust can earn that trust by meeting that need until you're feeling calmer 
And the more you talk about your feelings, sometimes that helps you feel much calmer. And then you can decide what to do next using your brain, not letting your feelings be the boss. You have to be the boss of your feelings. Your feelings tell you what's going on, but then you choose, what am I going to do next? That's how we talk about our feelings. Do you think that you can try that tomorrow? What do you think? I'll talk with you later. Bye.